I'm here at Bankstown Town Hall uh, to speak at a public forum about various uh, matters, but uh, my, uh, my speech will be on the anti-discrimination legislation, repeal legislation that the, uh, the federal uh, Abbott government is about to, uh, to undertake. Uh, the federal Abbott uh, government is uh, proposing to repeal section 18C, capital C, of the Racial Discrimination Act 1975. Uh, and this is a very significant uh, event in Australian uh, in history. Uh, the repeal of such act will have uh, significant consequences not only on multicultural Australia and the, the way that we are identified not only nationally but internationally uh, because what it does simply repeals the right repeals the right of protections that the Australians have uh, under the anti-discrimination the racial discrimination act um, by repealing the the uh, section 18c uh, it effectively gives the right of people as the uh, as the attorney general George Brandt has said uh, the right to be uh, to be bigots and that is a totally unfortunate uh, for a multicultural Australia where people uh, will now be subject to extreme racism uh, simply because of their because of their race uh, uh, ethnic background and or, and or their color and that's something that uh, Australia has been uh, against all along and uh, in a multicultural society such as Australia it would be a real shame to have uh, the section 18c repealed um, simply because uh, the, as, as George Brandt is the the highest lawyer in the land uh, uh, simply wants, uh, as he argues, uh, so that it empowers others for uh, to have a greater freedom of speech. Well, people can have the, the freedom of speech and we support freedom of speech, but to have freedom of speech to insult and de de denigrate and dehumanize uh, other people because of their color, race uh, or ethnicity uh, is, is totally unacceptable. You can make your point, you can make your point, you can argue your point, but you don't need to insult and, 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 uh, and um, abuse people because of their colour, race uh, and ethnicity. Imagine in, in the middle of Bankstown, imagine in the middle of city or, uh, or Lakemba or anywhere in, in uh, New South Wales where now people can call each other um, uh, names in, in, in such insulting manner without having the protections that they currently have under the Racial Discrimination Act. So it's a real shame that this federal government is proposing that. I hope they don't proceed with it. I hope the people of New South Wales get up uh, and oppose this and they petition the uh, federal government and ensure that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the proposal that George Brandis and the Abbott government is undertaking at the moment, they do not proceed with. Uh, it, would be, it would be a, um, a disaster for Australia, uh, not only, as I said, uh, for the people of New South Wales, but people internationally who recognise Australia as being a, a real, multi a successful multicultural community, uh, whereby they, people are free uh, to speak, people are free to live their culture, uh, people are free to speak their language, uh, and people are free to engage. But now, um, uh, people who are uh, the poorest people, indigenous people, and the people who um, the new migrants will be subject to such attacks. Uh, which we condemn and, uh, and that's something that we in the Australian Labour Party oppose and we hope that people across the, not only New South Wales but across the state as I say rise up and oppose this legislation right to Tony Abbott, right to George Brandes and ensure uh, that they get the message that we do not agree, we do not accept, we do not uh, support uh, the repeal of section 18c of the Racial Discrimination Act.